at last we've got to the big finale where the girls have a whole day in which to complete their challenge. Their challenge was to make a garden feature. Um, they had, their feature had to be both aesthetically pleasing, so really pretty to look at, but it also had to have a really good function. And the girls have re reached that brief beautifully, and the variety of work we've seen today has been absolutely fantastic. You'll have a look when you see all the different examples. So this is basically a four-tiered garden macrame uh, with plants in it, and it waters itself. So this is the bird feeder, and at the top it's the bird house, so the bird goes in here and they can live there. And if they get ever lost at night, because all the classrooms have no lights on, um, they can like look around for the, this light and they can just see it and they can go back to their house. Okay, so basically it's uh, a pot and you can put your plant and your dirt in there. And you can put this on top to protect it from um, birds and possums and that kind of stuff. And um, you can pour water in here and it waters the plant. Okay, so we have this pot and the motion sensor goes at the bottom of the pot. Right? There's a motor at the top connected to a flower. When the soil is dry, the motor wouldn't turn, so the flower would just be draping, which looks pretty sad, so you would want to water it. When the moisture reaches an ideal level, um, the motor starts turning, which causes the petals to bloom and spread out. So basically you can use this as like an aesthetic way to detect how much moisture is in your soil and when you need, you need to water your soil. We've come to the end of the STEM year. Basically, we've had a great year here at Pimble. Thank you to all the staff who have been involved in this wonderful community this year with the great ideas, the great challenges. Everyone's worked together, bring their, brought their strengths in together, and um, we've had a great year. So well done, everyone.